Friday's Lake Placid. It's a grade two, $150,000 race for three-year-old fillies going nine furlongs on the melon turf. This is uh, one of the best handicapping puzzles of the Saratoga season so far. There are eight fillies in here. Any one of them could win it. It's an evenly matched field. Uh, no one's a throw out. You have to take a look at everybody. Um, so uh, in addition to, to being evenly matched, we also have a pace puzzle in that uh, none of these fillies has the habit of taking the lead. A few of them have a little more speed than, than others, of course. Uh, but it's not clear how the pace picture is going to work out. So we, we have multiple puzzles here uh, in, a, in a, a race where we don't understand the pace and they're all evenly matched. Uh, so let's take a look quickly from the rail out. Uh, Miss Keller, uh, she goes first time for Roger Atfield, the Woodbine trainer. She has raced uh, in Ireland for John Ox, major trainer there. Uh, to me, it seems from her Irish record that she wants more ground than nine furlongs, and she really would prefer softer turf. She's not incapable on good or, good or firm turf, but uh, I think she's going to want softer than this and longer than this. She will be up close to the pace, and having the rail, that's, uh, that's something in her favor. Katara, uh, this is an improving filly. Uh, she showed in the grade three uh, Virginia Oaks last time with a solid rally, uh, closing... Uh, seven plus lengths in the last three eights. She's a great closer if a pace battle does develop, which it does happen sometimes when it looks paceless, a battle will develop because uh, people try to seize the lead. Uh, she could benefit. Uh, Consequence should be a major player in here. Um, her turf efforts have been fine. She won the uh, American Thousand Guineas. Uh, if she can rally as she did in that uh, going uh, 22 seconds for the last furlong. She's going she's gonna to leave them all behind here. Um, she has only lost to Breeders' Cup juvenile uh, Philly turf winner Moran on in her turf efforts, at least. And she's the classic uh, Phipps, Shug, uh, Johnny V combination. So um, you, you can't ignore her. She won't be a very good price. She also will be up close to the pace and maybe, uh, maybe will be the one taking the lead. Shared account, a sharp improvement on her move to turf for Graham Motion, a great uh, Middle Atlantic turf trainer. Uh, two solid finishings, finishes in her last two. Both have come on off going. It's not clear that the, that the turf will be anything other than firm. It could shower. Uh, uh, you never know in Saratoga. But uh, uh, maybe we have to downgrade her a bit because we don't know how she does on firm turf. Kirtana. Um, Certainly uh, will be one of the two favorites in here. She comes in off a three-race win streak. Um, she won the uh, Indy Distaff with a powerful, quick finish. Uh, she she probably hasn't faced any like any like she's seeing here uh, in in the Lake Placid. I don't think she'll be as close to the pace as she has been in some of her other races, uh, but she should be a solid mid-pack closer. Mary's Follies won the Boiling Springs. Uh, she folded in the Lake George in the last one. She also uh, will be, you know, what would would be the second tier if there were a first tier. This is not a first tier. Um, off her best effort, she can win. Uh, off that last effort, you have to question. My magic moment. Um, she has shown a good rally only when allowed to to, uh, to take a dawdling pace early. She's not going to be able to do that against these. These are better fillies than she's faced. She's going to have to be up a little closer early uh, at this level. Uh, but the thing that's in her favor is that she's stretching out, so maybe that pace won't be, uh, the, the requirement for the pace won't be as much. Uh, if she does go her way, uh, she's capable of punching it in. The outside horse is a Smarty Jones filly, Kadari. Uh, she's beautifully bred for the turf, though she hasn't raced on it. So, uh, you know, there's obviously a question there. Um, she would have to step it up from, from her dirt efforts, but uh, she is a mott trainee. There's no reason why she can't do that. Um, but this is also, besides being her turf debut, and her open stakes debut. So that's asking an awful lot, particularly from the, uh, from the outside, which is not necessarily going to get a good trip in a tough field. So there it is. It's wide open. Uh, you know, uh, put a, put a, put some money in my hand and I'll probably land on shared account and consequence.